What is going on, everyone? So yesterday, Odell Beckham Jr. of the New York Giants signs a five-year contract for $95 million, $65 mil guaranteed. Now, I will say this. If you're the Giants, you kind of have your hands tied behind your back because, one, you can't let somebody go like this. This is a freak of nature. He's a freak athlete. He's a dominating wide receiver, and you just can't let somebody walk like that. At the same time, that is a hefty, hefty, hefty price to pay for a wide receiver in the NFL. Some players, once they get that kind of money, once they get that kind of cash, they don't have the same type of motor to continue because, yeah, guy, I'm already paid. I'm already paid. Plus, this guy's always in the news. He doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't have that mindset of strictly football. He likes to, you know, dabble around with some big time celebrities and all that, which is fine. I would do the same thing if I was in his shoes. I'm just saying. It's a little scary to spend that much money on somebody like Odell Beckham. But at the same time, you you have your hand tied behind your back because you seriously cannot let somebody like this leave in the future. You have to wrap him up. So it's a hefty price tag. One, he's, he's also coming off injury now that you have to keep that in perspective. But it's a big time signing. <laughs> Listen, I, I mean, I don't love it. I don't hate it. Like I said, you need to realize that as a franchise, you can't let somebody like this leave the organization. He's too big of a player. He's too dominant of a player. But it is just, it is a wide receiver. And that is a lot of money that goes to your wide receiver. He's a, a, a talent that is absurd and you don't find anywhere. But that is a lot of money for one player on the team. There's a lot of holes. There's a lot of players. That is a lot of money. A lot. But, but what was your other option? What was their other option? I try and put it in the Eagles perspective, right? Obviously, I'm a diehard Eagles fan. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, if we had Odell, you got to sign him, right? You got to sign him. But I always think of it like this because this is always a good comparison. When you look at the Seattle Seahawks and what Russell Wilson did, that team was dominant when he was still on his rookie contract. You know why? Because they had a lot of money to spend on other positions. You look at the Philadelphia Eagles, Carson Wentz, still on his rookie contract. When we need to sign him longer term and we start spending that obnoxious amount of money on him, you have less money to spend elsewhere. But quarterback is a little bit different of a situation than, say, the wide receiver. Now you're looking at the Giants. You got Eli Manning. He's getting older. What is What really is their... their quarterback of the future after Eli we don't know but at what point are you going to be able to have a quarterback step in get paid a decent amount of money and have Odell Beckham on the books you know I'm just I'm just thinking of them in the future that's all I'm looking at it as a as a business perspective as someone in the upper management and and having to look at the money spent on individual players to keep a solid roster going I don't hate listen if I'm a if I'm a Giants fan I don't hate the signing you can't you can't hate keeping somebody like Odell Beckham Jr in your city you can't but you just have to question you know the price tag how will it affect your team in the future down the line? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. He's clearly talented. He's clearly gifted. Hopefully he can stay healthy because I don't wish injury upon anybody. Hopefully he can stay healthy. You know he had a big time issue with that last season. You know sometimes he's a little bit of a mental head case, right? He, he had the incident when things were frustrated for him. He's slapping the, the netting on the sideline. It's hitting him in the head. He's definitely a character. And hopefully you can keep keep that in check if you're the Giants. But hey, we'll see what happens. Sixty-five million guaranteed over the next five seasons. My man is about to get paid ninety-five mil. There it is, Odell Beckham Jr. He gets what he wanted. That's what he wanted. He wanted to get paid. He wanted to be the best in the league. And, and here, this is what what I have to think about now. Antonio Brown, <laughs> he's coming for that money. He's coming for that money. 
Because if there's one man who can compete with that, who can compete with that skill level, it's Antonio Brown. No doubt about it. And that Le'Veon Bell situation. Running back, wide receiver, what is he? What's he want to get paid? It's going to get interesting. It affects the market big time with somebody like this on the board getting paid that much money. Because you have stars out there like Antonio Brown who matches up with the same level caliber. But who's going to be able to pay that and still have an effective team having to pay other positions? We'll see how it all plays out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this signing down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.